So it's it's two minutes past seven in the morning. Uh, I'm here with Fraser Anderson. We're just on our way to Basel, Basel Airport, uh, in order to take us to Zermatt Festival. So Frey, if I may call you Frey, um, how are you doing? I don't normally drink this early. playing tonight at the Zermatt Unplugged Festival and we're just having a walk around the town and it's maybe the most beautiful little town I've ever seen. It's incredible. Um, it's surrounded by mountains. It seems to be in a, in like a, I know it's a valley, but it's, it seems like more than a valley because everywhere you look, it's like we're in the bottom of a bowl and the mountains around us are so high that most of them are under clouds. You can't really see the top. You can see the top of that one, but I think that's maybe one of the lowest ones. Can you see that? We are currently in the hotel. We're playing Mario Kart, which is crazy because there's really it's a really beautiful day, and there's the most amazing mountains outside, and we're in here playing a game. <laughs> The not knowing is exciting, you know, because this album, for me, it's the best album I've done so far, for sure. So for this album, it's exciting where little journeys and little uh, experiences and episodes might just open up. And, you know, it comes from just making up songs in your bedroom. And now I'm sitting in a really beautiful hotel, looking out at snow-covered mountains in a stunningly beautiful town in Switzerland with seven of my closest pals. And it's all paid for, at the, really, by just writing songs. And that's kind of a pretty magical thing for me. I love that. But in terms of like the gig tonight, I think we just want to bring some magic to Switzerland, don't we? Not that kind of magic. All oh, right. I like to do a almost like a kind of guided meditation. Normally, Eckhart Tolle is my guy. We, we've done that a few times now, and I, I, I like. I just, it just really works. It just helps to kind of get you into the right space. Yes. So that it, yeah, it tunes us into each other. Very warm welcome to Fraser Anderson and Bex Baxter. It's amazing what uh, one guitar and two voices can do. His partner on stage and the voices and the guitar work was fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> plenty of emotion. 
and would love to see him with a full band rocking it. But he's got, he's got to come to California. San Francisco Bay Area, would love to see him. When I was listening to him singing, all the passion and everything he was actually feeling when he was writing the songs. So it actually like made us cry because we felt so connected. Like his music is amazing. It, for me it was pure magic. When I experience mm -hmm. moments like this, when, I mean, for me art is having my heart mm -hmm. touched. And yeah, I was telling you it broke yeah. my heart mm -hmm. and telling you it broke my mm -hmm. heart. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's it, just it. You just start feeling yeah. so much. And wow, 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 wow. <laughs> John, you're missing something. Oh, shit. Head in his hands, stands in his hands. No! Hello, hello. Only to judge wants wow. to see when he stands to close to leave something inside her. And with one small slip, he moves in closer to whisper and grab. And Mr. says, I don't care anymore. I would die right now. Right here with you. I think I should hold my head up high like a main sail and feel, and feel, and feel. Yes, I'm Thomas. I'm the founder of the Ceramat Unplug. Oh my god, this guy's been drinking for five days. <laughs> and it's the truth. <laughs> Oh, so I'm one of the, I wanted to thank you personally for inviting me to play here because it's been like last night I think we all went out together and we all agreed that it was one of the best nights of our lives really we just had the most wow. incredible time it was wonderful the, the gig itself the people that were there the, the, the venue every single person was just beautiful it was, it was just wonderful I loved every minute of it I'll never forget yesterday it was just an incredible day so that's so it's my great. favorite festival in the whole world it really is <laughs> thank you really really so is. great to hear you know we make a, we make a big effort to to really uh, to, to keep the spirit high and mm. to to be good hosts to everyone and of course also to the artists and, and trying to make you know bring people together and make it a memorable experience yeah. to everyone I have to admit, Spotify has become the, 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 the most important source to discover new music. Mm. But it helps me to discover someone like you. The last summer it was my favorite album. I was spending <laughs> a couple of weeks in my house in Tuscany. I was, was listening to it a lot. So it was definitely my favorite, favorite, uh, favorite album of last year. And you, my favorite wow. singer-songwriter discovery. So, wow. and, then, cool. and then the way Solstice and I, you know, Solstice was booking for us work together, it's like... Uh, she proposes stuff, I propose stuff, and uh, and with you she instantly said, well, it's fantastic. Be able to be with people who wear their truth on their sleeves, loyal and good with beautiful eyes, with beautiful eyes. And what's wonderful is the reason why we're here right now is oh, yeah. we've yes, of just been asked to so play for all the staff of the Sermon Festival. We are so moved. It's kind of an honour. No, it's not kind of, it is an honour to do it. It really is. Because everyone's here. And as well, these people have worked so hard over the weekend to make it as magical as it is, as it was. And they haven't, they've been working so hard, they've not actually been able to go to a gig and just have the pressure off and just listen to some music. Beautiful eyes, beautiful eyes, beautiful eyes. I was right and I was wrong. It really didn't feel like a home. And even with the windows open wide, Sometimes we just need a place to hide And my eyes so far from wise Could only see what's close to me But in the sky I fly and wonder Where 
the end was ending And the air was always in my way Just wish I could have had you say Please let this go We've done all we can to save this boat from going under And now I think it's time we call it a day Please always know that We did all we could to stop each other falling over But now we should allow this love to fade Curved up bits at the end of the wings. Mm -hmm. I actually designed that. Go cool. on. No, I did. Because when I used to make paper airplanes when I was a kid, I was the first person in the world to bend the wings round to make them more stable. And then I saw a few years later that they actually started to make planes with the same. Bastards. I didn't have anything written down. I've got nothing. No recourse. No comeback whatsoever. My lawyer's not. Is this is this the same as the time you told me you invented fish? For me it's about this, it's about now, right now, and the path I've walked along to get here. The years I gazed open mouthed and open eyed, views stretching far and wide out into the sunrise, where sometimes a naked valley tells me it's married to the very top of the vastness of everything we could ever imagine or more. Where sometimes the dust and grime dissolve into the light, cast from vulnerable open windows and streets where I feel like I've lived before. But here, right here, with you all. I count my 